to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen in uh, today's video we are going to look at the long term forecast for gold and silver and uh, here in front of you is a gold chart I'm expecting that wave uh, 4 is expected to be a flat correction uh, namely an expanded flat correction a flat correction is 335 correction this is exactly we, uh, I think we are going right now we have completed 3 wave structure a 3 wave structure and a 5 wave structure I'm expecting wave 5 to be an ending diagonal and I'm expecting that we have completed wave 1 and 2 right over here and we have completed wave A, wave B and wave C of wave 3. So we have completed wave B and we are in the initial stages of wave C of wave 3. Remember that in an ending diagonals the uh, 5 wave structure or the impulsive waves actually wave 1, 3 and 5 can be actually are of nature A, B and C. They are not regular impulse waves, rather they form zib, uh, zigzags or double zigzags. There is one possibility that we can actually label this particular move as a complete zigzag. This is as a zigzag and this is another zigzag which will come up with the guidelines of Elliott wave analysis for ending diagonals that one of the waves could be actually a double zigzag. In that case, let me zoom back on, on daily time frame and you can actually see uh, what I am talking about. So if let's say we can consider it as a single complete single zigzag in that case our correction would actually be the, this one will be our correction we can consider it as the whole correction that went on in that case we expect that this is going to be a complete zigzag as well so we have a complete zigzag right over here another zigzag as a correction or a flat correction and another zigzag as right over here either cases we are seeing that the price is expected to move down on wave 3 if this ends to be a double zigzag in that case this will actually uh, be as per the guidelines of Elliott wave analysis for ending diagonals that one of the waves could potentially be a double zigzag in this case wave 3 would be a double zigzag and then after that we will be expecting wave 4 and wave 5 as far as the price resistance uh, is concerned I'm using the previous structures as potential price targets and this is also a previous structure and we are using this as a potential price target let's have a look at silver and see how silver a large time frame chart is looking this is uh, let me have a look on uh, show you guys on weekly chart so this is the large time frame analysis that we are looking at for silver I have redone some of the labeling and hopefully this will uh, make a little more sense I'm considering this whole drop from the top to this bottom as a 5 wave structure and this whole very sharp correction as a complete correction. The correction was very sharp and right now we expect that we are going to a zigzag, uh, sorry an ending diagonal. This would complete a 5, 3, 5 structure on a weekly time frame. Within that wave C of it we have completed wave 1 and wave 2 and we have completed wave a and B of wave C and right now we are in the initial stages of uh, the ending diagonal uh, uh, initial stages of wave C of wave 3 let's have a look on our daily time frame and see uh, what how the charts are looking in okay so we can actually label that quickly if you can actually see that this is uh, the start of the wave C this is wave A this is wave B and this is somewhere we are expecting wave C once again we are looking at it as a double zigzag pattern we can definitely go ahead and adjust this right over here so we can uh, see the waves properly so in this case we can see that wave 1 is a complete zigzag a single zigzag wave B is a flat correction wave A itself is a zigzag if it goes right over here we can see a 5 wave structure correction and this one and this is a whole correction in this case we are expected to see a zigzag pattern that's basically a five wave structure followed by a correction and then another wave downward so remember uh, during zigzag normally wave A or wave C seems to be more subdivisible like right over here so it's, f it's very less occurs that we can see a straight move correction and then we can see something like this so within an ABC structure of a zigzag one of the waves is subdivisible they do not have to be proportional especially as compared to when A, A and C are either of them are subdivisible or one of them is strong one could be short so there is ideally they should be proportional but they don't have to be and this is what I think right now looking in gold and silver that the waves are not proportional especially A and C so this is uh, something that we can also see on a weekly time frame 
let's have a look once again back to the weekly chart we can see that wave A is definitely much longer as compared to anticipated wave C in fact wave A is double of a size of wave C wave C is expected to be of 50 percent of wave A we are expected to see a double bottom reason is we are seeing a lot of buying pressure especially coming historically in this region in this region right over here and in this region and that is one of the reasons that why I have decided that the potential target for silver expected to be around this area a double a triple bottom you can say so I hope that I was able to uh, provide some help a lot of people haven't seen the long-term analysis even in the previous video hope I, I was able to provide some uh, uh, a good outlook wish you good luck with your trading if you are interested in seeing smaller time frame analysis i'll try to put it on as soon as we complete the structure that's going on on a 15 minute chart as soon as we see the completion of the structure i'll try to provide the analysis for gold and silver wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye